Hey everybody, this is Dan for Gamer D on Cars. Uh, if you are new to the channel, uh, hit that subscribe button. If you are not new, welcome back. Now, I just wanted to say, uh, those of you who don't knew, know me, I uh, just got a 10 week old uh, puppy. She's my new assistant right here. I'll show you what she's doing right now. See, I'm recording right now. Penny, Penny. Hi, say hi to everybody. Yes. Good girl. Good. So yeah, she's my little assistant here uh, as I'm working down here. So what we're going to talk about today could potentially be my next car. It is the BMW 2 Series Grand Coupe uh, that was just released this week. Now I just released a video today about the 8 Series Grand Coupe, but this 2 Series I think could possibly, if the prices are low enough in a couple years, be my next car. So. Uh, First on my desktop here is a BMW M8 competition that was also featured in my video I dropped today. So uh, let's get right into it. So this is it right here. This is the 2 Series Grand Coupe. Um, I'm still not a fan of the name when they call these four doors. It clearly has four doors, a Grand Coupe. I guess I get that the styling is a little swoopy and that's what everybody's calling them. But um, I don't like the, the name, but anyway, so this is the 2 Series. It is right in between the 1 Series and the 3 Series. Um, I don't think we get much of the 1 Series here in America, but we are getting this car in America in the 228 and the M235i Grand Coupe, I guess you could say, which that is the one that I would want because it has all-wheel drive. But still, the, the specs for the 228 Grand Coupe are pretty impressive too. And now this says it wears a roundel, but it carries Mini DNA, so I think this is built on the front-wheel drive chassis of the Mini Cooper, um, but you can still get the X-Drive, the all-wheel drive, with the 235i, which is this picture right here. I think this is the Long Beach Blue. What is she doing? I think this is the Long Beach Blue, which is an okay blue. It's not my favorite blue, but... So, a lot of the things that I've read about this car, people are not really a fan of it. And I think, number one, it's because it is the first BMW in America that is based on a front-wheel drive chassis. But I don't care. I know that BMWs are rear-wheel drive because that is the more sporty option, and that is just what people prefer. But this is based on a Mini, which is front-wheel drive, so I, I don't really care. Um, let's see. I do like this gray color. There's lots of pictures on this website of Jalopnik. So... Um, it's not the same platform as the current two-door 2 Series that we get, which I have driven an M240 Coupe, and it was honestly one of my favorite cars I've ever driven. I just filmed the other day with an M2 competition, the full-blown M treatment. I did not get to drive it. By the way, that, that light bulb, I need to change anyway. I did not get to drive the M2 competition, but that car is just 10 out of 10 amazing. It's a perfect sports car in my mind. So, let's see. There's the back there. So both 2 Series Grand Coupe models are powered by the same 2-liter turbocharged 4-cylinder. Um, the two, the 228, I think, will have the same engine as the 3 Series has right now, which is a 2-liter with 255 horsepower. It says it'll still go 0 to 60 in something like 6 seconds. But just think of this tiny little car with 300 horsepower and all-wheel drive, and it has a back seat you know, that you can get in via a sedan. I mean, that's that's impressive. Um, 300 horsepower and 331 foot-pounds of torque, but adds an extra 80-ish pounds to the 2 Series weight, um, 258 with the, for the 228. That is that is solid. I, I would still, if the price was low enough, I would go for a 228 Grand Coupe with 255 horsepower. It would be more than enough. I mean, that's more than my wife's car, the Q5. Now, as far as the styling goes, I like it. Uh, the interior is the same design as all the other BMWs, which I think is, is looking very nice. In the one video, there's a bunch of ambient lighting on the car around, which I think is cool. Um, but I think it's a good-looking, small, little car. Now, if it was up to me, I, I don't even personally really think I need a sedan. I mean, I have I put my daughter in the back, obviously, but I would totally be fine with a, a two, an M240 or something like that. But the M235, which I don't know why the higher spec M235 is not called an M240 but anyway I like it I think the proportions are right I, I just don't think people are liking the disc the the front-wheel drive um, 
design with it, but I, I'm totally okay with that. I really like this gray color. Okay, time out. I gotta take the dog out. Okay, I'm back from outside. So, this is the rear of the car. I like how BMW is now doing like this more horizontal type um, taillights with the roundel in the middle. I think the roundel in the middle looks pretty good. Um, but yeah, I just think it's a solid, um, solidly designed little car. Um, this will definitely compete with the Mercedes CLA and the Audi uh, A3, which those would be solid cars too. Um, I just almost prefer BMWs a little bit, so I think I would possibly lean this direction. But um, let me know what you guys think. I, I think it could be a solid little car for me, especially with, uh, with 300 horsepower and all-wheel drive in a small little package like this. Um, I could picture myself in that car for sure. Um, I think it's got the uh, nice design language that BMWs have now, and I think this could be a, a solid car for me. So let me know what you guys think below. Um, if you're new to the channel, you should totally hit that subscribe button. Um, Penny is licking at my feet anyway. So yeah, this is going to wrap up this video, so thanks for watching. Uh, hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram, at Cars, and I will see you in the next one. See ya.